What's going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment, welcoming you back to Wreckfest here after another fairly significant delay in uploads, which I do apologize for. I've had a fairly busy December outside of YouTube, and then I went and got sick with the flu over the holidays just as an added bonus, which threw off my holiday plans and my YouTube upload schedule, as I'm sure some of you noticed. But I come back bearing some belated holiday gifts in the form of a killer car and track combo that we have never tried before. We have got the F1 cars here at the Hot Wheels track, something a lot of you have been requesting for a while, and it starts right now. Well, here we go, folks. Some of you have been waiting for this one for a minute, and I'm already getting run over by Charles Leclerc, one of my favorite guys. Not even letting me get down the ramp to start. And it's a jumble start all around. Everybody's wrecking down here. We got to go to end over and swerving right in front of me. My life flashing before my eyes. Mick throwing the roadblock on me, and there we go. There we have it. Oh, thank you, Max. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, park right there. That's fine. I don't know who set this car on. It bottoms out like a beast. Lance Stroll's hiding in the shadows. Just laying upside down the road, dude. What are you doing? What is this? What in the hell kind of respawn point is that? What am I supposed to do with this? That's neat. There's nothing like a good old-fashioned opening round morale crusher like that one where you just get sniped from all undesirable and unexpected angles. Then we got Lance Stone down here just laying in the weeds waiting for me to come by. Can't even see the guy. And then the game is conspiring against me at this point because it won't even let me get over the ramp. This is putrid. All right, Charles, I'm begging. Please, make it easy this time he does. We actually have a shot at life. But for about another five seconds, if I had to estimate, oh my goodness, was I ever correct. It's almost like we may have done this before. <laughs> we somehow amazingly actually got out of that. Okay, all things considered, we will continue on in the top five. Even. That is really, you want to talk about thinning the herd. <laughs> Add this to the schedule, F1. You cowards, you won't do it. Oh, this, oh, wait a minute. Maybe don't. Hold on. Hold the phone. Don't spend the money just yet. Oh, right into the ground. Just tug it in with the nose. We even caught the wheels. So now we can scientifically confirm too that no matter whether you're in an F1 car, a NASCAR legend, a 90 stock car, a go-kart, a school bus, a lawn mower, a monster truck, I don't know that any of these AI are capable of surviving this area of the Hot Wheels track. If God forbid you survive the lower part, then you get up here, then you just gotta go where the wind takes you because the car bottoms out. Aren't we having fun? It's about to get a lot more fun here in about point two seconds, never mind. Hold on to some. Right down on the wheel, pirouetting. Can I get the wheels? Can we catch the wheels again? There we go. We can probably keep going this time. See all you poor saps later. We got ground to make up. And let it be known, all you gotta do is be able to drive in a straight line and go prosper. And I'll, like, man, oh, I should not be looking at the leaderboard. I should be looking at the gas and the brake pedal, maybe? Just an idea? Potentially, oh, are we gonna land this? Oh, that was clean. That's one of the cleanest things I've ever seen. We're back in clean fest. And it's not even April 1st, that was neat. And not even ironically. Oh, that was not neat. That was neat, ironically. It's all right. We're back on it. And in the lead by a lot. Well, who's that thing? That's going to be a white flag. One to go. We might have one in the bag already. We're going to have some guys here on the front stretch that need to be bagged up and taken off the premises. Those poor saps. They never even made it out of the first danger zone on the first lap. Still just laying where they were. Like this poor guy up here. Sergio Perez. Oh, check out how could you. And there's more. Animals lay everywhere on the side of the road like roadkill. Oh, God. I'm going to be one of them. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we're wall riding. This is sweet. We're pulling out all the tricks today. Wait a minute. This is not one of them. Oh, my God. My wheel. My wheel. Not my wheel. Damn it. <laughs> that was going so good for so long. And then it just it went so bad. And I can't even turn... Out of this half rank, can we please get going? Thank you. All right. Can this thing even run with three wheels is the real question. Real quick answer from the universe there. No, it cannot. Oh, we're even going all the way through the world there. That's a that's something you need to see. We're going to be like, shoot me out here, running around on three. Look at this tank still rolling, though. This thing is the king of the Hot Wheels track. The stallion out here cannot be stopped. Might be made of a Hot Wheels material or something. That would explain its indestructibility, but not its steering woes, which I am still having plenty of. Can we get off of this? They can get off of this slowly but surely by inches. We do it. And then I don't have to reset more times than I have to, which is always good. This is already embarrassing enough out here, although performance. 
match might be one of the most embarrassing wins you'll ever see. If we even win, I shouldn't throw losing and giving it to Martin Brundle out of the realm of possibilities. I don't even think I have enough speed to be able to go flying over this thing, though, so we'll take that for what it's worth. I'm not even going to risk it over here, and me taking it easy even is going to cost me my life. Please stay on the track. Are you serious, bro? Are you kidding me? Are Why? I have many questions. I should sound like that preacher from that one meme video who just goes, why? Why? This really is where the killing blow comes down to us, because once we go flying and try to do this sick wall ride, which would have been sweet, would have been badass, if we could have landed it and not ended up like this, and then ripping our wheel off, which once that wheel comes off, that's our death note, signed, sealed, and delivered. I don't trust not one of these idiots at this point, though, so I'm just going to try to find our own lane. We almost did. Oh, that was almost... Oh, keep me on the track, please. It's too bad we lost so much time because that was about as clean as I think I can get through there. That wasn't that bad. That was, man, you, I, I tell you what, my voice may or may not have gone up a few octaves there. That was, uh, that's, that's a very scary area. And I just saw someone go plummeting down through the fake sea floor there. As we are having actually one of our better opening starts here. We're chasing down Magnuson in that lead real quick. We're already on the podium. We're going to pounce over them right now as we pounce over this jump. And I, well, we're going to come up a little bit short. This might get ugly. Oh, it's going to get ugly. Oh, God, please. Why does it always have to end like this? Please. No. Oh, my God. The ball. That was head on nut. I think my head literally hit an exposed bolt. Oh, I'm falling. Oh, my God. Finally. That, oh, and there goes the spine. All right. Your box is going to have a tough time getting up from that one. Aren't we all? I, can, I just heard somebody go racing overhead of me. And I just got back and passed. A bunch of guys which went the other way because I, I don't understand how I got passed by that many people. I don't know what's going on. We're living in top of the turbo world, if you ask me. We're going to have to catch up, which I have no qualms with. We'll get right to it right now. And my luck will hit every single one of these pins and every single one of the walls and every single one of my wheels will come flying off. And I really might as well just go flying directly into the sun right over there and see what happens. Maybe that'll be a little bit better of an outcome than what we've had so far, which I think I'm going to have a good outcome of a landing here until my wheel just fell off for nothing as I do the pass and die. Are you kidding me? This car is made of vibranium until the very second that it's not. And then it's done. And then you're done. It's over. Somehow we got through this start. We should have went plummeting to our death, but we'll save that for later, I guess. Might be time for me to try out this newfangled invention, though. Uh, some of you might have heard of it. I think it's called the uh, brakes. I don't know, Captain. It looks pretty good to me, don't you think? Looks uh, a okay. And then we have uh, nuts and bolts. We got screwed right there at the end, and that is gonna do that. It has taken me entirely too many attempts to realize that Max and Lewis are starting right in front and behind each other. That's kind of an interesting pair up. Right? Well, how could I miss them now, Jesus, Lewis? And I'm supposed to call you, sir? I don't think so, dude. What are you doing? I don't even want to know what's going on back there. We got two McLarens touching tips. What the hell is going on out here? We got a McLaren Madhouse. The Hot Wheels track has gotten to these guys' heads, man. It might have gotten to my head. This flu might have gotten to my head. Who knows what's going on anymore? I know that I'm in the top five. And I just got to the top three before I could even get that out of my mouth. These buffoons are blowing it right now. We're going to have a shot at the lead as we launch it like a rocket ship. And we are going to land it. Please don't lose a wheel, I swear to God. Thank you. How are you doing, folks? This is a hell of a place to sit for this race. There's like nothing that goes on over here. I would be pissed if somebody bought me seats over here. I'd be like, what are you? Why? I'm staying home. I'm watching on TV. AKA Soundhead Entertainment on YouTube. Like and subscribe, like and subscribe right now and I will launch it over this ramp. I gotta do it now, all right. This might've been dumb. This might've been done, you better have done it. This might've been dumb, this might've been dumb. This might've been very dumb. Oh, it was brilliant. Oh, it was a work of genius. All right, white flag is once again in the air. We cannot blow it like we did last time. Nick, what are you doing? What is your problem? All you need to do is just not do that. You're lucky I'm still alive. Are you kidding me, dude? Really? I'm going to need therapy after things like this one day. Many, many, many long years of hard therapy. As well. what, is, what am I even looking at back there? There's a crawling centipede slowly going up the ramp. And I should have joined them because I have a feeling this is going to end badly. 
I'm gonna slide perfectly right through this crack, aren't I? Well, maybe not quite, but that'll do the job. There we go. We went through anyway, right down on the gearbox. That's just grand. There goes my spine. It was nice knowing you. Look at the angle on that wing. Who is that helping? Absolutely nobody. Forget the wing. Look at the rear suspension, the rear wheels. May or may not be pointing in different directions, but you know what? These things happen after a long, hard life of being a Hot Wheels car, which has certainly been the case here. And not just for me, as you can see. And by God, if we don't bottom out, we're going to do it. Unless we die on the landing of this, we're going to do it. I Oh, please don't do it to me. We've done it. That's a dub. That's my Michael Jordan blue game dub right there. They're going to have to make a 10-part documentary series about what went wrong with my brain after years and years and years of playing Wreckfest with mods because it cannot be good what's going on in here now. And you can probably trace a lot of my problems right back to here with Mick. Not once, but twice. Heat seeking me with a rolling roadblock. Well, a lesser man would put a towel over his head, take the trophy, and run for the locker room, but not me. Not after how long I've been gone. We got the physics mods on, and we're going to go for it. Well, would you look at who the game just put right in front of us for the start? If it isn't our old pal, Mick, you go ahead and have some fun back there, buddy. How do you like running into people now, you goon? Oh, my God, we're dead. It doesn't matter who it is. We're always going to get hit, I guess. Golly, there goes my nose. There goes my wheel. And there goes a wheeling Ferrari. Listen, we love Mick in this house, but we could not let that stand. And it, it came back to bite us. Ah, they moved Mick. Oh, and they only moved him over a little bit. He's right there. <laughs> All right. You can't hide him from me for that long, but I guess we already got our revenge. We might have to get some more on whoever did that to me as we almost right out of it. Wait a minute. Are we going to land? Does that count as landing it? To me, that kind of counts as landing it. Would you play off of me? Why? We could have drove away from that. And now we're gonna have to drive underneath the sea. We're not alone, <laughs> there's a lot of dudes under here. That's where everybody goes, I guess, for most of the start. That's why we hardly have any competition on these levels. We're gonna just become survival of the fittest. If you really even need to be that fit, or maybe have two or three brain cells, which I clearly do not. And now we gotta wait three minutes before we impact. <laughs> there we go, finally. We need some elevator music for that flight. That took entirely too long. That is so stupid. I bet it's fair to say if we could just survive this area through the first run, we could probably make it through the rest of this pretty easily because it doesn't seem there doesn't seem to be that much competition beyond this point. But look at this. How do you explain that other than just pure bloodlust and violence? And besides bottoming out, how do you explain this besides pure idiocy, which is usually what we have to chalk it up to around here? I again we could really put a timer to that until we finally hit the cameraman even gave up tracking it oh he jumped back on it he got it he's good we need to bash into mick for good luck lewis hamilton's going head first into a pillar we're gassing it underneath are you kidding me all the way through to the lead what just happened you could have blinked and missed that if you weren't paying it oh no please don't throw it away right here like this not like this no why every time why? I don't have the throat for these abominations to keep popping up on screen. We got to get this done. We got to get a dub for once in our life. What in the hell? Where are you going? Do I even try it? Oh, I didn't have much of a choice. I thought I was going kind of easy. Holy Jesus. We're going to land in the stands. Actually, we're going more towards the middle. That's still not good. Oh, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. And the fact that is, we have a lot of time to think about how it's going to hurt. Oh, and of course, we caught the edge of the world, and now we're going to go flying through it. We're just going to send it. What do we got to lose, really, at this point? We're such a high-level Space Force cadet. We'll be fine. We're like alien rank at this point. We've got nothing to lose. Like I said, I just like went invisible for a second. There was like my force fields powering up. And uh, so you guys done anything cool lately? You know, just uh, how was the holidays? Have a good time with the family, you know, any of that? Oh, hang on a minute. Oh! The whiplash right there. Did I miss something? Spilled my coffee? Who's that guy? Kind of feels like an abandoned wasteland after a while out here. Like it's, it says they're only 20 some seconds behind me, but it feels like a lot more than that. I only see the carcasses at the side of the road after a while. I might be one of them after this if I keep playing this game for too much longer. This is, uh... Oh, I see somebody. I'm... Oh, Ted! 
If that top layer wasn't there, we would have just missile strike someone from so far away. The U.S. military can't even get them to lock on that good. That would have been, that would have been groundbreaking. Like how I just hit the ground. I bet I can still win this with three wheels. We're going to try it. We're going to see how it goes. Yeah, oh, it's not going to go well. We maybe should have tried this. We may have made a mistake here. Keep it on the road. What are you doing there? Get out of the way. No, come on. We don't have to. Do we have to do like a skate grind on the side of this thing? No, can we just live a normal life, please? I don't know how far is too far to push it at this point. So I think it's time to just take it easy. <laughs> Except that a dub is coming. I don't know if we can throw it away at this point, but I've thrown away better ones than this before, so maybe I should shut my mouth. When will I learn? All right, please, Wreckfest gods. All, all, anybody, anybody at all who's listening, non Wreckfest gods, Santa, somebody, anybody, please. That, at least we stayed on the road that time. Reset, gonna save my life. Had to add one more of those on to the reset -o meter. One more embarrassment, and with one last babying launch down the ramp, barely even keeping it on the ramp and flying off of it as we finish, we are gonna collect double dubs. We have done it. The flu game has been completed. I feel like Luka Doncic scoring 60, 20, 10. Guy's a beast. I'm a beast. You're a beast. The word beast hasn't been used this much since 2012. And nobody is even upset about it because it is that worthy of a cause that we have got to bring it back. I mean, look at the views. Look at the angles. Look at the avoidance. I hope the viewing experience for all of you was good because it was fun for me even fighting through the flu. I hope that didn't mess things up too much for you guys. I don't think we had a view quite as good as this one right here from the Z. Truly a Space Force level flight. And speaking of the Space Force, we're not done memeing on them quite yet. You guys know you've been asking, you've been highly requesting that the Space Force car make it into Wreckfest soon. Well, make sure you subscribe and tune in to the next episode. You just might like what you see. And with that, I love you all. Thank you all so much for watching. You know what to do if you enjoyed this episode. Hit that like button, subscribe for more. Leave me a comment what you want to see. Have happy holidays. Happy New Year. We'll see you in the next one.